I'm Rhoda. Welcome to Fab and Fit Over 40 2024. Today we're going to start with an ab and cardio workout. We're going to sculpt those abs and burn fat. If that's the type of workout that appeals to you, please subscribe to my channel. There's never a cost to subscribe and you help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Are you ready? Let's go. Burn belly fat. Knees up. It's a new year, and that is a big target area, isn't it? Hold your abs tight here. Swing your arms. Let's bring the knees up in front and cross. Pull the lower ab in as you do this. We have both strength and cardio alternating. All ab focused here for you. Now we will talk. Bring your arms forward and back. Feet up and back. Hamstring curls. We'll talk about all the different things that you can do to really start to whittle that middle. Now, I love that term. You said, well, whittle, whittle your middle Saturday morning class. One of my gyms. Reach out here. A lot of fun. Very popular, which is why we're starting this series with this particular video, Toes Out and In. Weight loss, Comes up and down, increased metabolism series that we're going to do here first of the year. If you need to lose weight, it's a great place to start. So I'm going to grab my chair. First exercise. Take the chair, use it, reach an arm out, outside leg, outside arm. We're going to crunch, come with me, kick back. Abs tight. Hold the glute there. Crunch and kick it. And kick. So this is a weight loss series because it's following the holidays. You're not looking to lose weight. You're going to just build lean muscle. If you are looking to lose weight, you're going to get lots of tips on how to be successful. A lot of it, I'm sure you're aware, involves the kitchen. And rest. I'm going to move the chair just for a moment and go into the cardio. I'm going to stay with this leg. We have a glute swing. All right, we're going to swing the leg up and back as we swing, the arm comes forward, up and around. The leg comes up with the arm. Ready? And get our heart rate up. Here's where we burn belly fat. Get this cardio in here as we sculpt those muscles. Now part of your core is your lower back and glute. And we need to work that as well because we want to have balance. The front ab area and the back core area need to be worked evenly. It should be coming up here. This is a tough one to start out with. I know. But the good news is, it's a tough one. Some of them are easier. Most of them are easier. Back to the chair, other side. So, let's talk about the kitchen. Okay. Remember the move here. Crunch, extend. It's a new year. All kinds of diets out there. Maybe you're trying keto. Maybe you're trying Mediterranean. Maybe you're trying a huge reduction of calories. I'm here to tell you that doesn't work, all right? You go on a diet and then off a diet. On the diet, you lose weight. Off the diet, you gain weight. And you're right back to where you started. Diets don't work. If they did, the first one would be done. You'd be done. You wouldn't need another diet, right? And yet we come back time and time again. And in the process, trash our metabolism. Keep going. Because when you lower your calorie intake, your body adjusts. It lowers the metabolism. That's why when you start eating 1,500 calories, 13, 12, whatever it is, use your glute swing, okay? You lose weight for 
two or three weeks. Then it stops, right? That's because your body realizes it's not getting enough food. And it's going to lower how it uses the food you give it. It's going to conserve. The body is meant to keep us alive. Our brain, I should say, keep the body alive. So when it sees a reduction in calories that's lasting over time, it's going to adjust. We don't want that. The way to do it, and I will link in a video at the end here about how to go about changing your life with your diet. The way to do it, eat real food, lots of fruits and vegetables. The main thing though is real food. You gotta eat real food. Not diet food. Get your chair and come to a plank on your chair. You can be here or here. Now leg raise, ready? Alternating, lift. Squeeze in the glutes, abs are tight. And I have been doing this a very long time, ladies. 22 years, I have changed my thought process over time, and it's come from experience. Working with hundreds, if not thousands, of women to help with weight loss. We've counted macros, we've counted calories, we've cut out food groups, we've done it all, just like maybe you have. And, had the most success and the happiest clients when I tell them they get to eat real food. <laughs> All right, moving the chair out of the way. We'll use it as a balance bar later on. We're coming, I'm sorry, up and over, knee, knee, over knee. Crunch those abs. We're coming at an angle, kind of a V here. We'll bring the right knee up first, so you're going this way. Here we go, knee. So, we could change your life this year. When you weren't back here dieting again next year. You were back here strong, healthy, lean. Does that make you happy? That's the goal, right? How about do it a different way? How about focusing on cutting out the diet food, cutting out the sugar, cutting out the processed foods? Eat real food. You'll be full. You get the fiber you need. Fiber helps digestion when your digestion is working well. That means your metabolism going to start working well. All right, so we want to work on that. Sorry, I'm breathing hard. Talking about two things and focus on the workout. We're in a rest, as you see from the clock. Thank goodness, right? But we want to get you to the point where you can create a lifestyle that you can live with, all right? You're not gonna go on, off, on, off, on, off. So watch for that video at the end, check it out. All right, moving on to a glute, I'm sorry, a good morning, I'm gonna go heavy weight to a bicycle crunch. So elbows out, weights in your heels, you're going down, you come up, twist across the knee, and then you'll do the other side next time up. Pull the tummy tight here. What we're doing is creating a nice strong core. Also, bonus, working on balance. There's core, here's balance. And we can get you eating real food. You can't spot reduce. So, I have clients in the past who wanted to do abs every day. Just working the muscle. You can't spot reduce. You can work your abs, work and work and work them. It doesn't burn fat off your middle. Last one here. You need to burn fat off your whole body. All right? Going to a side lunge, we'll go out to your right. And we're gonna come down, come up with the leg raise. If you're just starting out, just step it in, take the leg raise out. It's a balance move, working that outer waistline. Here we go. It's a cardio part of this workout. To move here. So I know that's disappointing to hear. <laughs> you can't spot reduce around your middle. You can get the muscles looking really good, and that's what we're doing here. And we're increasing metabolism because we're doing strength work and we're burning fat because we're doing cardio work. So, how does doing strength work help you burn fat? You might ask. How does it increase your metabolism? 
Well, if you've been around, you know the answer to this. But if you're new here, and I welcome all the people that are new here for the new year, I'm going to grab my chair. I'm going to use the seat for balance. I'm going to grab medium weight. I'm going to bend the knee, hinge forward. Grab the chair if you need to. Do a row. Come up. Ready? Hinge forward. Row. Bring it up. Put the toe down if you need to. So, back to, I've got two things going on, right? <laughs> trying to do a lot of instruction here with the workout, but also give you information. It's a tough move, be careful. Put the foot down as you need to. When we do strength work like this, we are building lean muscle. Lean muscle requires over three times as many calories to exist in your body than fat does. Fat requires about five calories. And then rest, back to the side lunge on the other side. All right, we're coming over and up, all right? We're over, foot down. Four, three, two, one, here we go. So, if we can build lean muscle, and you can burn 17 calories a day with that, lean, that pound of lean muscle, it's going to start to eat fat in your body. Fat only requires five calories a day to exist. So by creating this lean muscle, and converting fat to lean muscle, I mean, it's just math, right? 17 calories burn versus five calories for fat. You're going to get lean. You're going to burn the belly fat. All right, let's go to the other side. Hinging forward, doing a row, and up. And Jake, my dog, has decided to get mouthy. Upstairs right now. Hopefully he will stop talking. So this strength work, sore muscles. When your muscles are sore, they are changing. They will repair, and they will repair and be stronger. And that means leaner, not bigger, leaner. Okay. That is how abs are made in the kitchen and on your workout mat. And you eat real food, lots of fiber, and do your strength and cardio work. All right? Let's go weight down. Put the chair out of the way. Got a kickboxing kind of fun sort of move. We're going to punch up, up, across, across, down, down. Back up, right arm first, ready? Here we go. Across, and down, and up, across, and down. So I hope you're here and enjoying this workout. And I hope you subscribe to my channel and stay with us through this program and beyond, all right? We'll be working on diet nutrition videos and exercise videos. This is going to be a fun month. Okay, I had a little edit there. So you know my dog, Jake? He just decided to really do a lot of talking. Great job. Okay, moving on. I'm going to grab a heavy weight. You have options. Try a heavier weight. This is sledgehammer. It's going to come up around your shoulder, all the way around, between your knees. Take the bend out, but if you're taking your bend out, keep your back flat and look out, not down, all right? Once the weight is down here, up and around the other side, and down. Get that. Get that core. Ready? Right shoulder first. Here we go. Such so a really rotate with it. Bring it down. Up the other way. And down. And my hips rotate away from the weight. 
as you get warmed up in this, you could be able to get a little more rotation, probably more than me, with my back brace on. Over a year since my surgery, yay! I've been around, I had spinal fusion surgery, it was not fun, but the pain is gone and I can move again, but I have to be restrictive of this kind of thing. I can't go too deep into it. And let's rest there. Okay, weight down. Arm go, right arm, we're going to cross punch, bring it in, and kick, so it's cross, kick, on the kick, I want you to round your back, pull your, almost like a crunch, pull your tummy tight, okay, we will move, but I want you to focus on those, those strength portions, here we go, cross, crunch and kick, pull it tight, Whoops, I missed that kick. I want to just do the crunch. I like the kick though. It's like kickboxing. I see the kickboxing videos show up in a month or so. I'll certainly have one this month on the channel. Fun way to burn fat and galleries. And rest, thank goodness. All right, I'm going with a heavy weight. We're going to do a curtsy to an oblique lean. So your right leg's going to come back. Right here, 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 or here. Wherever you can get to that you don't have pain in your knee, come up. Oblique lean. All right, work in the waistline. Here we go. Go work up and lean it. Root work shows up in my ab videos because this is your core, front and back. And Nice little bonus, right? Work in the booty. Go heavy here. Almost there, come on. I'm gonna try and get one more in here. I love curtsy lunges and I like the leg leans because they work. All right, weight is down. Other arm, I'm gonna cross, kick and pull that ab tight, all right? Deep breath. And the client wants to say, gee, my husband said, you know, I'm gonna get thick in my middle doing this oblique work. And uh, here we go, we talked about it. And I said, you know, you have potential for that. You hold on a 70 pound dumbbell, we're not going that heavy. We're looking to tone, not build. And 15, even 20 pounds would be a good weight if you're more advanced to really sculpt that oblique. But not get bulky. We don't get bulky around here. It's a misconception that lifting weight and going heavier in the range that we use, you know, up to about 15, is going to cause you to be bulky. It is not. Not even a little bit, okay? It's really, really hard, really, really hard whew, to get bulky. Okay, oblique crunch on the other side. Ready? Here we go. I just realized <laughs> that I have that crunch, cross punch kick three times. Just kind of threw me off there when I'm looking at my little workout that's right in front of me. So I have to come up with something different for us to do in about, I don't know, 30 seconds. What should we do? It's got to be cardio. Got to involve the abs. I think we'll go back to that cross punch alternately. This round entirely kickboxing sort of moves. The whole rest. So the key with this, hold the abs tight as you rotate. You're working that inner oblique. You want to punch. You want to move. Punch. Punch. Squeeze the glute. In this part of the move right here, the abs is tight. Switch to the other side. You'll feel the abs move as they need to recruit the opposite side of the muscle to do the work. Now, I want you to hold them tight, but keep breathing. 
rotate out of that hip. That makes, the, that makes the magic happen in that abs. Ab. Rotating out of the hip as I turn. Come on, we have a rest coming. One more round, we can do it. If you're doing a shorter version of this workout, you may be almost done. Can I take my workouts and edit it down a little bit so that if you only have a little bit of time, you can find a 20 minute workout on the channel. 15 to 20 minutes. Adds up. Do it. Okay. Phew. Okay, I'm gonna grab my chair for the stretch. Let's start by taking a seat and we're gonna cross one knee over the other. And then I want you, if you can, pull this leg up to wherever it's comfortable that you can push on this knee. Now stretch the outer glute, wherever it feels good and you feel like you're getting a stretch. Relax your muscles right now. Let them breathe. Great workout. Cardio, strength, all ab focused. Very popular format for obvious reasons, right? That's what we want to work. Cross the leg, get up, wherever it feels like you can get a good stretch and you're comfortable. Relax the muscles, that's so important. You feel accomplished? I hope so, I really do. You've gotten this far, you're here with me, you are accomplished, you did it. It wasn't easy, come on up. Grab the chair. I'm gonna use the chair, step back, bring up the toe. Stretch in the back of the leg into that glute again. Let's go to the other side. Let's come up and reach over. If you're just starting with me on this uh, new year, you're gonna be sore, okay? I'm just gonna be honest with you. When you start working out and you haven't done it for a while, you will be sore. The way to really help that not be too, too sore, drink a lot of water today. Water helps your blood be nice and thin so it travels into those muscles very easily. I'm gonna use a seat on my chair here. Round the back, pull the hips towards your chin. Look at your feet. And then reverse it. Take a little ibuprofen before bed or another anti-inflammatory if you have one you like. Round the back. And arch it. And then round all the way up. And no, okay, this is a promise I'm making to you. If you come back tomorrow and the next day, by the following day, you're gonna feel great. Great, great, great. And if you follow the program, eating-wise, you're gonna feel even better. You're gonna feel deflated. If you can switch to real food and cut out your sugar, that's what causes inflammation. A lot of what we feel around our middle is inflammation. Bring this across here, holding all that weight. Stretch out the back of the shoulder. And thumbs up. Open up the chest. Stretching the upper abs a little bit here. Roll your shoulders out. And the other way. Come back and do this with us. You are worth it. We're all worth it. It's a great program. And if you follow it, I guarantee it will work for you. Take a deep breath. And exhale. Have a great day. Subscribe if you haven't. Give it a like if you want to do this video again. And I'll see you next time.